Hi, this is Brian with ActiveMelody.com. In this week's guitar lesson, we're going to take a look at a heavy blues that's played in the key of E on electric guitar. This is played with a lot of overdrive, and there's a lot of different styles in this. There's some Delta blues, there's some Chicago-style blues, there's some country. It's sort of all the things that I like on electric guitar kind of thrown into one little one-minute composition. But we're going to break it all down note for note, and I'm going to explain where all those notes come from so that you can start to improvise in this style, start to take little licks from this and use it in your own playing. So I've got this lesson split into two parts. In this video, we'll take a look at the first half. If you'd like to watch the second half and download the MP3 jam track that you can practice with and the tablature, you can get all of that by going to ActiveMelody.com, go to the Lessons page, and do a search for EP233. Alright, so I really did intend for this to be played on electric guitar. There's a lot of overdrive and bends, but this first half actually works pretty well on acoustic guitar. So if that's all you have and you want to follow along, by all means, uh, make sure you do that, because there's a lot of licks. If nothing else, even if you walk away with just a lick or two, that's... That's progress, right? So, uh, let's talk about tone. I'm not using an amp uh, this week. I'm using a Kemper Profiler. It's a new toy that I bought. Um, and uh, something I really enjoy. It's, it's been a lot of fun to try and figure it out and a lot of different profiled amps that I'm using. I couldn't tell you which one this one is, but it sounded, I thought it sounded really good with a Stratocaster. And so uh, you don't need to go out and buy a Kemper Profiler. You can just use whatever amp you've got. I'm just using it because it's a lot easier for me than to record than to try and mic an amp and all that. Um, but just take whatever amp you've got and turn up your overdrive. You don't want to go all the way to death metal, but you know, just back it off and get a nice gritty sound and and that should do. The only other thing I would mention is uh, I'm using the bridge pickup for the first half with the tone at about seven. And then on the second half, I switch over to the neck pickup for all of that stuff. Um, and so this the tone on that pickup is all the way up at 10. I've got the volume on the guitar at about seven. So that's the only thing I would mention on this. These are new pickups in this guitar too. I don't. I had some other ones in it, and I just recently put these in. These are Fender Noiseless uh, Generation Four, and I really like these a lot uh, as well. They're just very clean. So that's tone. Let's talk through the song. The song is a 12-bar blues. It's in the key of E. Uh, it's just a standard one-four-five chord progression, and it starts off with this Ry Cooter sounding lick that goes. I really like this a lot. It just sounds great with the overdrive. And so um, this is being played in pattern one. All of what we're going to be playing pretty much is coming right out of the minor pentatonic scale. I'll call it out. Uh, so we're going to be pattern one uh, for, for E. So we're playing over the one chord, playing the E. And I slide into pattern two here. And then go right back to pattern one. So let's, let's learn the licks and then I'll show you how to count it in and all that. So this is hybrid picked, so we're going to be picking on the third string, and we're going to be plucking with our ring finger on the first string. So you're doing those at the same time. So it starts I use, with my left hand, I use my middle finger for this, um, and I'm on the uh, second fret third string, I slide up to the fourth fret. That's the first thing that happens. And then I go... Let me do that without the one string, it goes... So that's... Sliding from the third, I just picked that once by the way. And so I'm sliding from the second fret to the third fret, back to the second fret. Then I do a pull off with my index finger down on the first fret third string. So we have. And then I put my middle finger down and a hammer on on the second fret fourth string. So all together that lick without the one string sounds like this. Then you throw in the one string let that one string ring out underneath it and you have this nice drone effect. So, um, so all together then that first part goes Now here's how you count that in. You go one, two, three, four, one, two. So it comes in on the two. So I gave you an extra measure of, uh, of just a count in. But it's one, two. Okay, so after that then we go into this lyric. It's got a very Delta Blues feel to it. So that starts with an upstroke on the one string, and then I do a downstroke on the two, the second string, and then I'm fretting that on the third fret, and I push it a little bit sharp when I hit it. 
and then I release that and play the open B string or the open two string. So all together we have, and then I play this. That's a hammer on on the third string, a hammered onto the first fret, and do an upstroke on the open one string. Actually, you can hit the one and two string. You can get more of a, a gritty feel. So that lick all together goes. In fact, I think I hybrid, I use my uh, ring finger when I pluck, pluck that one string. Like that. You hear the difference in tone? These are subtle things, but when you're learning to play blues like this, like the difference between that and it's subtle, but all of those things added up equal a, a big difference. All right, so let's take it from the beginning. We have one, two, three, four, one, two. Okay, and the other thing I should mention is if you think about that lick, all you're doing is building your E chord. So that's just the way that I'm thinking about it. And then I go into this slide sound that goes. And what I'm doing is I'm just hitting, uh, I'm playing this really on, I'm fretting on the second string. I start here on the third fret. Actually, I start with the open uh, B string or the open second string. Then I start on the third fret and I slide up to the fifth fret on the second string. And I hit it three times. One, two, three. And then I go all the way back down. Five, three, open. That's a pull off there. Now, the only other thing I'm doing in addition to that is I'm playing the open one string along with it. So I'm hitting that drone string, that open E string. And so you'll notice a pattern. This one string keeps being used over and over again. And that's because when you're playing in the key of E uh, and you're playing over the one chord, you can do that. You can just keep using that one string. And I find myself improvising all the time on the second string while I let the one string ring out. So you get stuff like, you know, licks like that. Um, all right, so let's back up from the beginning. We have one, two, three, four, one. And then after that, I went, that's a very cool kind of Delta Blues lick. So all I'm doing for that is I've got my middle finger and my ring finger on strings one and three. I start on the second fret and I slide up to the fourth fret. So I'm starting by picking on the third string and then plucking with my ring finger on the one string. So it goes like that. And what I'm doing, just so you can put all of this in context, this is You've also got an E chord here, a little triad. And so that's what I'm playing, is I'm just playing strings one and three. It's a harmonized six, but that's where it's coming from in my mind. So you have an E chord, E chord. So um, after that, I went. So I kept my middle finger and removed my ring finger. Played strings uh, three with my pick. So all together we have, and then watch this. So from here, that's a slide. I'm only picking that once, sliding it down, pull off, hammer on. Fourth fret, down to the second fret, first fret, second fret, fourth string. And that's what it looks like. It's a great lick. If you walk away with nothing else, you've got that awesome lick. And after that, I hit the one string twice, just to finish out the, the bar. All right, from the beginning, one, two, three, four, one. And then we go into the four chord, or the A. And this is a technique that I use all the time. I got this one from Eric Cl uh, Clapton. Um, and what I'm doing for that is a muted strum, upstroke, that's on strings uh, four and five, just open, the 
open A and the open D string. And then I do a downstroke on the third string. Uh, I'm sorry, I do a downstroke on the third fret sixth string. And actually I pull that a little bit sharp. And then I go into the A chord there. And so what I'm doing for that is I'm barring uh, the first four strings, I guess, on the second fret. But I'm only playing strings five and four. Just those two. It's a A power chord. Actually, you don't even have to bar. You can just hit that one string, the uh, second fret, fourth string. So all together, that little transition from the E to the A goes like this. Let me do it a few times just so you get the hang of it. I'll do it one more slow. Okay. And then once we get into the A, I go... So I went right into uh, kind of a country feel. So that's a down stroke, two down strokes on the fifth string. That's a hammer on. So I start there on the third fret, fifth string, do a hammer on to the fourth fret, fifth string. And then I come up and play the uh, fourth string, which is behind that bar there on the second fret. So all together that goes. And then my ring finger goes up here to the fourth fret fifth, uh, sorry, fourth fret fourth string goes. So it's a bend, release. Then I come down to the second fret, that's all on the fourth string. Down to the fourth fret fifth string, and then back to the second fret fourth string. So all together. And then after I hit that A, let that ring out. I came down here and played. So that's another harmonized sixth thing, uh, similar to the one, that one that we did over the E, but we're doing this one over the A. So I'm, I'm sliding up to an A, and all I'm doing is I'm thinking of the A major bar chord, and I'm playing strings three and one out of that. And I slide that down two frets, and that's just a tip uh, that you can use all the time. Anytime you're playing over, and that works over the one chord, the four chord, the five chord, any of them, you can take that and slide it down two frets and that will still be in key and work. Just remember the shape, I guess. So in actual fact, that would be like an A and a G. And then I came down and went. So I took that same shape, that's the second fret, strings one and three, and I did a little bend with both of them. And I'm hybrid picking that. There's a hammer on again, third string, hammering onto the first fret, and then plucking on the one string. Okay, let's take it from the the A part. And then this next lick goes like this. And so that's a really cool lick, and it's straddling between minor pentatonic and major. There's a few notes in the major pentatonic. So let's start there with the third fret, uh, first string. Think minor pentatonic scale, pattern one. Now remember, we've gone back to the one chord here. So now we're playing over the E chord. So that's where we're going into the major pentatonic. This would be major pentatonic pattern two. And by the way, check out EP130. That's a lesson I did a while ago explaining the overlap between uh, minor pentatonic and major pentatonic, if you're interested. So that's three, two, open. And then I come down to the second string, second fret. And then the open second string. And then we have open third string, first fret on the third string, and then I'm plucking the open one string. So all together. It's a great leg. So a nice little takeaway for you would be to take this leg and transpose it to a different key. Let's say we were playing this in the key of G. How would you play that same leg? And then do it in A, do it in B, and so forth. And you can see it's just playing around that chord shape. So remember we're on the one chord, on the E. So. You can see when you're doing that, you're just building the chord.
So just remember that cord translates all up and down the neck. So you can take that lick and you can start using it in everything. You can take all of these licks and start using it in, in everything you, uh, that you're, you're playing and improvising in. Okay, so then the last little phrase in that goes. So that's the open B string, open second string, third fret, back to the open second string. So we have, and then we come down to the second fret, um, third string, and then a hammer on there, uh, that's back onto the first fret. So all together we have, and then the last note, again, is that open one string. That's that string we keep coming back to because we can. So uh, let's see, let's take it from the A. All right, so that's a lot of information. Let me back up and play everything up to that point and then we'll play over the five chord and, and uh, I'll show you that as well. One, two, three, four, one. Now this is where the song goes to the five chord, or the B. Seven. And what I played was this lick, and it's pretty easy to do this or to find this because I'm still thinking about chord shapes. So I was playing everything. Uh, we've been playing everything down here around this E chord shape. Now I'm thinking of the taking that same bar chord and playing that chord shape up here. So if we're playing uh, the B chord using the E chord shape, you'd be barring here on the seventh fret, and so. When I started this lick, I played that. Just the first two notes out of that bar chord. Just like we did over the A, but now we're doing it over the B. Okay, so the way that I played it goes like this. So it's starting by picking on the third string. We're sliding up to it from the, I guess that would be the sixth fret third string, sliding up to the eighth fret on the third string. Using my ring finger on the one string, and then sliding them both back down. And then these two I played at the same time. That's the fourth string that I'm picking and then the second string that I'm plucking. And you can see both fingers are crammed into the ninth fret and then you slide those down to the seventh fret. So all together that leg goes. Now your takeaway from that lick is look at how that relates to the B chord. So let's do that same lick over A. See how it relates to the chord shape? That's why it's so important to connect the dots and weave these things back into chord shapes so that you can really start to see them. So, and then I played this lick that takes us back to the E chord that goes. Love that. So all I'm doing is I'm starting there on that B, which would be on the seventh fret first string, walking down chromatically, down to the sixth fret, down to the fifth fret on the first string. So there's a then we come down to the third fret, bend it a little bit, play the open first string. So and then we play the open second string. So. And then one, while you're playing that open one string and open two string, you can take your hand off the fretboard and come up here and play. It gets you, lets you get in position to play that. So that's the second fret, third string, sliding up to the fourth fret. Pluck that one string. We've already done these legs, so this, this won't be new. And we slide back down to the second fret, do a pull off and then a hammer on. That pull off leaves you with the first fret on the third string. And you do a hammer on to the second fret, fourth string. So all together it goes. 
and then the last note is the low E string. You could play the high E string as well. Either one was good, would work, but I played the low. All right, so let's take it from the uh, where we go into the five chord. All right, so then we go into the final lick that goes. And I love that. So all I'm doing there, so we're back to the one chord, and this lick, that's all in the major pentatonic scale. So when you're playing the E chord like this, you've got the major pentatonic. You've got a little box right there. So just remember that. If you ever want to go into a more happy, positive vibe, you can do that right off of your chord shape. Look at where these two fingers are. They connect to it. So take it to another chord then. Look at these two fingers. Okay, um, so... So what I'm doing is I'm going from the 2nd fret to the 4th fret on the 5th string. Then we're going to go 2nd fret to the 4th fret on the 4th string. And then watch this bend. There's a bend the bend. Those are both on the 4th fret. Down to the 2nd fret again, all on the 4th string. And then 4th, 2nd, both on the 5th string. And then once I came down here, I hit the 2nd, uh, I'm sorry, the 5th string, and then the 4th string, both on the 2nd fret. So all together. Close it out with that low E string. And then the final part is the turnaround. That's just a walk up, open fifth, first fret, second fret on the fifth string. And then I plucked with my ring finger, while that note's ringing out, I plucked the open B string. And then we're ready for part two. So that's really all of part one. Let me back up and play through everything one more time. I'll, I'll go through it slowly and then I'll see you in part two and we'll learn the second half. And make sure you download that MP3 jam track. That's how you can really get your timing down and start to plug all of this in. And, uh, and you get the feel too, like you're really part of the band. So here we go from the beginning. One, two, three, four, one. 